Headed out to Portalarium today. Woo! It's going to be good. So, home of Shroud of the Avatar. And uh, I filmed a bunch of stuff yesterday at Crowfall. And then, damn it. You know what happened? I don't get it. I just don't get it at all. But, like, here is, uh, I, I did with uh, Thomas Blair and everything. And I have no audio on any of the stuff I filmed with him. And I just don't get it. I've never had that problem before on my camera here. Now it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous that I'm gonna have to check everything to make sure the audio's working. What the hell? You know, and I did something stupid. You know, I needed more space on my laptop, so I cleaned out all the extra files. There are audio files that are extra with uh, GoPro, but I've never had to use them before. And so now, lo and behold, the one time where I delete them before I'm done with everything, holy shit, I needed them! Ugh. Okay, made it to Shroud here. Portal area. Gonna see what trouble I can find. I have Fletcher here. Now, Fletcher, you, you mentioned something. You just said, you said, did you see that clockwork helmet? Yeah. And I'm like, yes, because it's this awesome thing right here. Now, you made it. Yeah. Um... So, uh, I've been getting... Can, into, I, can I pick it up? Yeah, go ahead. I'm getting into 3D printing recently, and uh, because I do 3D modeling here, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I can make good use of it. So, I'll save some of the uh, more high-definition high, high definition models that we make, and then I'll clean them up later and then use them for 3D printing things. Like, uh, I made this, um, and this is about uh, five five to eight pieces, some of them I had to weld together. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I also want to make that horned helm in our game. Uh, it's one of the metal helms you can get. But yeah, uh, so like I scaled it to the approximate size of the average human head, which is seven inches by nine inches, so that most people can put it on pretty comfortably. Damn, yeah. that looks really good. Thank yeah, you. I'm impressed. Thank you. So, Star took me out to lunch at this god-awful place that had the worst burger ever. Terrible. Why did you even take me here? I don't know. It's just because they have really awesome burgers. I mean, terrible. It was fucking awesome. It was yeah, great. It was really they had good. Tillamook cheese yes. from my hometown where I grew up. Great oh my god. Man, so good. What is the name of the place? Hop Dottie. Hop Dottie. My favorite burger place in Austin. Yeah. Highly recommend it. So, this is our weekly map review. We do this every week. World Builders and That's my, these guys. Yeah. And myself and other various team members get together and we go over the maps they're working on. And sometimes those maps are about to go live in a release, or sometimes they're gonna be in a future release. It just so happens these maps that we're looking at today are ones that aren't going live and next week's release are gonna be in the release after. Ooh, exclusive stuff. Yeah. walk into it, it'll kind of has a chance of pushing you away. Uh, it also do some damage. And if you jump while you're inside of it, if I can catch this thing, I can uh, it'll launch you in the air, which you can use to get to some of these high places. So oh, cool. Storm <laughs> Do I have? Can you launch into the air and then will it kill you? Uh, that does. Does it fall damage? Uh, no. I mean, the falling rules mean that you have to impact a, a level Oh, holy cow. <laughs> that might be a little high. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Indian, it's a tent like structure. That's cool. A little it, has, it has wind effects on it, which then tells their LOD. But, so I don't really get you. Okay, another fine day. Portalarium. And uh, heading on to the next thing now, going to the Intel Indie Developers Party. It's the first thing of the Austin Games Conference. So, going to be heading that way now and, and uh, do some networking. So that's a wrap for today. Uh, great time today filming with Bob. Bob was the highlight of my day. Yeah, and then, you know, did the indie, uh, indie developers uh, party and uh, met a few people there. Maybe we have some business that's going to happen out of that. Um, 
And uh, overall, though, you know, uh, a lot of good things happen in Portalarium. Uh, a lot of good things coming up for Shroud of the Avatar. I got to see a lot of things that are just not public yet. They're they're pretty open company, but but I got a lot of stuff that they just haven't shown to the public yet. Um, really, because it's a little bit rough, but. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with what they're doing. I kept thinking today as I was, uh, you know, sitting in meetings with them and stuff. I'm like, man, I can't wait to get back and play. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I'm looking forward to the stuff coming up in the new publishes. It's going to be really great. And, um, and, I, and I like stuff that they're doing on the back end, which is not really public information. But, but it just makes me feel good with um the you know the the back end operations of things and and how things are going and everything it um you know i already had a lot of faith in them but um uh but you know it's it's like you know just just more goodness so nothing but good things to say okay that's it for tonight